In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use lights in Gizmo. We start with an experiment where we have a uh, simple Gaussian surface displayed using the default rainbow color table. Clearly, uh, there are no apparent uh, shading or lighting effects. The first step is to add a light. And to do that, we go to the object list append new object and we choose a light here. As you notice the default parameters are for directional lights. We're not going to deal with uh, non-directional lights in this uh, tutorial. The ambient is chosen dark, practically black. The diffuse and specular components are completely white. We're just going to say OK at this point. And, and as you can see the light uh, is added to the object list and we can take it from here and drop it in the display list above surface zero. As we drop it, you'll notice a slight change in the illumination of the surface, but the surface still lacks any sort of shading. The reason that it lacks shading is that the surface by default is not calculated with the normals at every vertex in order to uh, make it more efficient. But for lighting, you need a normal calculation for every uh, vertex. So to do, change that, we'll go to the surface object. We double click on it. And when we get the dialog, we choose Calculate Normals. And we say OK. And when we do that, you can see immediately that there is some shading introduced here. To see that even better, we'll go to our light again. Move the dialog a little bit out of the way choose live mode and then drag these red arrows and as we drag them you can see how the illumination changes and how the shading appears on the surface okay well at this point what we have is a shaded surface which originally started off as a surface that was painted in rainbow colors well, suppose we change this surface so that it has gray color, fixed gray color throughout the surface. So at this point, we can see how the shading appears without any chromatic effects. Now, we can also add a color to our light. And if we do that, suppose we chose red color for the light. So now we have a surface that appears to be shaded in some using some red color. And the conclusion is that you basically can't tell whether the color originated from the object or whether the color originated from the light, as is usually the case in, uh, in real uh, life. Okay, at this point what I'd like to do is introduce another surface into the mix and the uh, new surface that I want to add is one that is uh, made uh, uh, by a disk. Disk object is one of the quadric objects and I just chose the default parameters so I didn't change anything in the dialog and when I drag and drop it in the display list, I got a nice appearing uh, uh, poly uh, polygonal disk. I'm going to add one more twist to this, and that is a rotation of the um, uh, of the disk. And I'm going to rotate it by 25 degrees about the y-axis. So at this point, to affect the rotation, I'll move the rotate operation above the disk. So now the disk uh, appears at some angle to the direction of the light, but we really don't see any shading effect on the disk. We don't see any variation. And the reason is, again, the normals. In order to compute normals for disks, since this uh, a disk is a quadric object, we'll go here to append new attribute and select quadric normals and select a flat normal calculation. When we take this attribute and drop it on the disk, the disk will now have normals calculated. We can also choose color for the disk and suppose we chose uh, some gray color. 
and we can add this color to the desk. So now we have light that's affecting the disk in a, um, in a particular way. And we can choose to change the light direction again. So I'll choose Live Update. And you will see how the light on the disk changes as a function of the direction of the, um, of the incident light. OK. Uh, what happens if at this point we decide to add another light into the mix? So to do that we're going to come over here and append a new object and just add one more light. This is going to be light 1. Now to differentiate between this light and the uh, previous light I'm going to give this light a uh, blue color. And I'm going to choose OK. So I have light 1 here in the object list. If I take it and drop it before surface 0, both surfaces appear with the mixture of colors, as one would expect. If I now take this light and drop it below surface 0, then it doesn't affect surface 0. And at this point, surface 0 sees only red light, whereas the disk sees both the red and the blue light and you see the mixture in colors. Now suppose I wanted to make sure that the first light only affects the surface and the second light only affects the disk. Well to do that I need to disable the first light or light zero. So to do that I go to uh, append new operation and I choose disable and I'll disable light zero. Click OK. So now I have a disable operation and I'll move this disable operation anywhere above disk 0. So when I do that, light 0 is disabled at this point in the display list. So everything that draws after that, which in this case is disk 0, is not affected by light 0 anymore. So what we showed you here is that you can create fairly intricate effects by providing the lights with color, providing the surface with color, doing combinations of both, adding multiple lights that appear from multiple directions, and uh, you can use these combinations to create very powerful effects. This concludes this presentation.